when we talk about LSTMs, maybe let's start from the ground up. Um, maybe we start with recurrent neural networks. Seb. Um, can you explain what are recurrent neural networks and what's the problem or the disadvantages of recurrent neural nets before we then jump to your infamous uh, LSTMs? Uh, yes, uh, um, um, as Ms. Jürgen, I uh, very early came in contact with recurrent neural networks before uh, in my uh, for my diploma thesis uh, working on LSTM. I uh, did the practical work also with Jürgen, and uh, it was about reinforcement learning, actor critic. Here, Jürgen's idea was, hey, uh, this actor critic should be recurrent neural networks. What's the difference between feed-forward neural networks or the fully connected uh, uh, neural networks and recurrent neural networks? Recurrent neural networks have a feedback connection, a feedback loop. And this allows you to store information over time. For example, if you have a neuron, so a neuron can activate itself if it, it's activated and several memorizes that it was once activated. And therefore, these recurrent neural networks can store information over time. So much more powerful than this feed forward or fully connected neural networks. Uh, even recurrent neural network uh, uh, have uh, Turing uh, power, uh, so Turing complete, uh, meaning so I can, uh, recurrent neural networks can do everything what you can do on a computer. Your computer, your Microsoft uh, or, or Unix uh, operating system can be simulated or emulated by a recurrent neural network. So very powerful. Jürgen Thiel said, hey, let's do reinforcement learning with this very powerful uh, neural networks, uh, this recurrent neural networks, which can memorize what happened in the past. That was uh, uh, as I started. But then we figured out, but also the community figured out, uh, say, uh, have a big problem. The big problem is, uh, so I should memorize some things, but I don't do. So I don't learn to memorize something. So I only focus on uh, if you have a sequence, if you scan a sequence, they only focus on the last element of the sequence. And that's a problem because if you have something like a man uh, uh, in a black trousers crosses the street, or if I say uh, the uh, street is crossed uh, by someone uh, in a black trousers, which is a man. Mm -hmm. I, once I started with man and uh, uh, in the other sentence, uh, uh, the man was the last word, uh, but I want to express the same thing. Meaning in language, every word might be important. It could be at the beginning, it could be at the end. Uh, and also for, for what we, I did later is uh, protein sequences, DNA sequences, everywhere in the sequence, uh, there could be something uh, very important. Therefore, you should not focus on the last thing, you all should, should memorize, which is far apart because it could be of interest. And recurrent neural networks couldn't do that at this time. So I forgot it. If you uh, uh, scaled it up, then your network exploded. Uh, the gradients become so large that the weights uh, became very large uh, uh, values and the network could not be uh, uh, run anymore. Uh, therefore, there was a problem. In theory, recurrent networks uh, can store something, but in practice, they didn't do it. 